being transmitted at the request of the Office of Civil Defense. A massive nuclear attack is currently taking place against the United States. NORAD military radar detected the launch of 400 nuclear missiles. Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. And since last time I picked up some new gear and uh, yep, some new guns, I'll show you in a second here. Um, So this one obviously is a uh, a six shooter, so the Taurus Raging Bull, and I put the uh, ex uh, the long barrel on it. These are ones I picked up from the Millennia Weapon Mod box. Try out some more. Some of them I might have used in the past. I'm not sure. And then I have the Sten, classic World War II, and then I got the Val, which I put a extended mag on it. <clears throat> so. We're way down here because I want to go get some of these map locations I haven't been to before. So I'm going to start heading out this way and I reckon we'll probably go clear out the, the correctional facility first since I haven't been there yet. And uh, if you were following the different way of finishing the Prim, uh, finding a sheriff for Prim quest early in the game, you could have gone there and got one of the... Uh, one of the inmates there actually is a sheriff, but he's an asshole. Maybe even worse so than uh, giving the NCR authority over the town. So usually I just uh, kill him, or at, le at the very least, not hire him. I'm still waiting to see if Arcade is gonna activate that enclave quest. I've done mostly everything I can think of to get him to uh, activate it. We'll have to see. Just gonna kind of keep him with me for now because I would really like to get that enclave quest done. Let's see. Pistol is way powerful. I'm not, I can't remember how how worthwhile the Sten is, but I figured I'd take it along since I uh, I think I gotta go around since uh, it's not something I typically take on any World War II shooter game. I really like the Sten, but uh, okay, yeah, I was going the wrong way. And there is going to be people in the towers and stuff actually, so let's take out the Val. I guess I could have grabbed the Ventoras, but thought about the fact that I was going to be out here Just as a warning, sniping. Covert bandaging skills are a little rusty. And that's an interesting bug that always happens. I'm not going to be able to get them from here with iron sights, I don't think. I can try, but uh, shooting with iron sights in this game, especially with modded guns, is not always the most precise thing. You don't typically always hit what you're aiming at. Why is the gun making a bark? Sound? Was that just a bug? And why is it going slow motion? Well, that did not work at all. As you can see, I missed every single shot. Somehow. Jesus Christ. Come on, arcade. Don't know why my game is going at half speed all of a sudden. Clipping is a joke. <laughs> it's just such a, it's such a joke on on New Vegas. You can say lots of awesome things about this game, 
give it lots of props for lots of things of how it's so much better than other fallouts that's true but you cannot say that the shooting is good it is crap especially at range well this is really really useless Let's see if bats won't even target him that's interesting there, I finally hit him. Apparently I can't shoot under there. There. I don't know why the fuck my game is running so slow. Go. Oh. Hello there. Is that a... It is. It's a Millennia gun. Just get in here. Oh. Damn it, arcade. Gave one too. I can't remember if there's. Oh, that's an interesting animation. I can't remember if there's something unique here. Uh, I don't want to take everything because I don't want to lose a bunch of karma. I don't know why the car it gives you karma for killing powder gangers or loses it makes you lose karma, but. On we go. Oh, it's frustrating. Here we go. There. In the tower. Yeah, right. Get it, Marcade. Here we go. Is it getting dark? Man, I should have waited until morning. Come do this. Oh, whoa. Uh. That kind of shit. No, you can't shoot under the railing. There's an invisible wall there. I hate that. I will steal that. It's so easy to get good karma and shouldn't fuck me over. I take a little bit of stuff. Here too. Funny how they don't even like get aggroed and decide to come down. Even though their buddies are all getting shot. There we go. <laughs> Head meet gravity. Over in the fence. Goal! To go check this out building over here first. I'm trying to remember what it is. Um, I, there's something of interest in this place other than the NPC and a bunch of powder gangers or the uh, quest guy.
His uh, plasma gun is pretty mean. I think I have one, a plasma defender, but I'm pretty sure it's really beat up. Dynamite's always fun. The uh, 9mm pistol is one of my favorites of the vanilla guns. You put some mods on it, it's a pretty nice gun. Trying to remember what there is in here. Mine box, armor case. Sure, I'll take some grenades, why not? I got. I guess it wasn't in this one. Okay. It's another door, was there? There is. Carter. This pistol is a monster. Cell block B key. What you got? Leaf blower. Why would you have a leaf blower? Aha, uh -huh, that's what it is. Or one of the things. The schematics. Nope. Gonna try not to loot too much. Just to not hike down my karma too far. that it? I guess that was. Okay, let's go out. Go check the other building. Take a screenshot of our adventures. Oh yeah, that ad item. I had to give myself a few, uh, Weapon repair kits because the pistol I picked up for some reason was almost dead when I picked it up from the actual locker where you're supposed to get brand new guns to try out for the mod. Administration. To a gunfight. Classic. It's a pistol. Do I even have a laser pistol? I don't know. Probably. What's going on? Alright, I'll take these though. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Got a grease gun. Thanks, Vats. No. Well, there I hit what I was aiming at. Should go uh, sell all my drugs sometime. I probably got a decent amount of money's worth. There we go, admin key. Take that, just in case I don't have one. We've got quite the stash of weapons up there at the, uh, in fact, I'll take all this at the, uh, my house. Pair. Actually, I have jury rigging, so I could probably repair some of this stuff with other stuff, yeah. But I'll just do it with itself for now. Just 
stupid light. <laughs> Warden's terminal. Oh. See what's on the warden's terminal. Lots of drugs. As I usually say, if you want to read this stuff at your own pace, just uh, pause the video because I skip through stuff pretty fast. Or read through stuff rather. A lot of this I've seen in the past, so. Modoc. Shout out to Fallout 2. One thing I really wish that the Fallout series would do at some point is go back and revisit areas of the world, or the country in this case, from the previous games, from the classic Fallout games. I'm talking Fallout 1, Fallout 2, even Tactics. Actually, especially Tactics. A lot of people try to forget that game, I don't know why I loved it. It's hard. Not the easiest old Fallout game. But I loved it. I thought the locations were very cool. I especially liked the fact about it that they had real guns instead of a lot of made up ones. Maybe that's why they don't really consider it too much or too often to be part of the actual lore. But, well, I mean, they do, but it gets glossed over pretty, pretty often. All right. I think we've found all we can in here. Let's go back out and continue uh, drifting. Drifting along. Lots of miscellaneous stuff out here in the yard. Nothing real important. Crafting, not so. I mean, it's something you can do, but it's not something that's really necessary in the game. In the past, I used to pick up everything, and at some point in my playthrough, I'm going to be going through and doing a clean sweep of everything. Picking up everything, basically, just for my own amusement, but I probably won't record that. That'd be probably boring. Okay. So, we've seen the NCRCF. So, camp south and then camp east. All right. Can I get there from here? Probably. Kind of wish I would have brought like a uh, actual little more reliable weapon with me. I mean, these are fine, but I feel weird not having my, uh, my Garand or my survivalist rifle with me. Powder gangers. Just as a warning, my covert bandaging skills are a little rusty. There's all this stuff growing here. Very symmetrical <laughs> collection of plants there. Hey, I hit him. Do you know? This thing's far more accurate than that bow is. Even though I did hit him in the arm, apparently. Wait a minute, isn't the straight razor a weapon? It is, right? I don't think I have one of those. Let's take it. Add it to my pile. 
pool cue is also. Whatever. Take it. I've done uh, playthroughs on New Vegas before that were melee playthroughs. I just don't have as much fun as shooting. Like, if I want to play a Bethesda game with melee, I'll go play Oblivion or Morrowind or Skyrim or something. Uh, I just don't have that much fun with melee on Fallout, especially on the old ones. The entire uh, draw of Fallout in the first place, when I first started playing it on the originals, was the fact that it was an RPG with guns. And it wasn't in some medieval world. Body home. Right. Let's uh, high key this dynamite. Dynamite is always fun. Oh, I got a lot. Dynamite, or hot key that and that. Explosives are fun. They just make a mess if you want to be looting stuff. Okay. Further east, east, southeast. Yeah, I like this weather mod, even though it's not got the crazy stuff that Nevada Skies has. I like it because it's reliable, actually on. Where is this marker? There it is. <laughs> Poor mole rat. Got pulverized. Those are probably just big horners or mole rats or something. Somebody's home. Tango down. Oh shit. I got these things. Oh shit. Alright, it's time. I knew that was gonna happen sooner or later. Oh crap, I'm gonna get lit up while he's taking his time throwing dynamite. Arcade's unconscious. Okay, 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 okay. I know. Retribution. Not today. Oh. Here I am throwing freaking dynamite. They just like don't give a shit that I'm hitting them with dynamite. Should have chosen grenades. It would have been faster. Throw. Reckon. Alright. Enough of your retribution bullshit. I'm to die. Wow, this gun blows. Apparently. Either that or it was not hitting. <laughs> Arcade missed all the fun. Brush gun. Take the brush gun. Twelve mil. Ah, oh, it's a piece of shit. It's too bad. I'll save the ammo for my survivalist rifle. Uh, Thursday. <laughs> no, it's not Thursday. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Ah, I like the marks my carbines. The um, I need to go to. Uh, I wonder if I have a machete. I want. I need to go to Vault Thirty Four sometime. Uh, the one out by Nellis. And there is a. 
unique marksman carbine in there, the all-American rifle or whatever. It's pretty cool. Camo paint on it. Camo finish. Vault 34 is just kind of a pain in the ass. Even now, even though I've been in there dozens of times, I still kind of get turned around. Okay, no more dynamite. I think I've got enough. Pretty sure I've got enough. Alright. I've got all sorts of random stuff on me. Let's see here. Uh, let's just go ahead and... Why not? Brush guns, toast. I think I have a few weapon repair kits left on me. Don't really have any ammo for this, but... I don't know if I actually have a good brush gun, so... Let's take it. Okay. Save. Oops, I didn't want to equip it. Uh, let's, uh, you know what? Let's pull out the sky for a little while. I think I've used that yet in this game. Oh, what the hell happened to the paint job? I think uh, the weapon retexture didn't work on this particular weapon. That's a shame. And it's not worth shit, so rip. Just wasted stuff. That's how it goes. Uh, Use this one yet? What the hell? It's silver and gold. <laughs> okay. Alright. It must have a mod on it. I think there's a finish for that. Alright. Let's go over here, here, here. Go through Prim Pass to get up to the shack. Dead Wind Cavern's full of death claws. So we'll go down here to these first. I thought I had that. And that. So we'll go get these, and then I'll come back, and we'll come up here. One second. Yeah, this has got to have a mod on it. Because uh, it's not supposed to look like this. Very fancy. Rants. Sorry. Oh, these things. They're right in my way. Oh, you don't have to kill these. They, um, of course, I didn't have to kill that mole rat either. But, uh, they won't mess with you unless you get too close. Could kill him, but uh, and get a bunch of free food. But I've already got a lot of food. Don't remember if there's anything actually here. I know that there's a mod that adds like a a new world area that's like a railway kind of hub. And the train leaves from here to go there. I can't remember what that's called. That's actually a pretty, uh, <coughs> excuse me. That's actually a pretty cool mod. Might be one I'll check out later on. Once I start running out of other things to do. I can't remember what that's called now. Like NCR Railways, I think. Oh, as soon as I get enough of these star caps, I could even fucking pick these up. Then I can go to, uh, the HQ. What the f- Why can't I pick these up? Just as a warning, my covert bandaging skills there are we go. rusty. Alright. So. Up and over the mountain for this one, I believe.
or not mountain hill but over the hill looks like some scorpions That's one uh, mod I didn't turn on. Uh, or wait, no, maybe I do have it on. I don't think so though, the uh, classic Fallout weapons pack. I think I went with just the Millennia ones this time. But uh, that would add all the old weapons from all the old Fallout games. And some of them are really well done and good, and some of them are really incomplete and crappy looking. But, uh, I don't think I actually used that one this time. Who are these people? Aha, jackals. Damn! Oh, that was a critical. Wonder. Holy crap. Either these guys are really weak or this gun is really powerful and it doesn't say that it is. Or, I think I'm still on normal difficulty. I think it's because I'm in a low area. I'm not gonna, I haven't changed the game difficulty the entire time I've been playing. It's always been on normal, on uh, hardcore. Because there's gonna come a point where I'm not going to want it at a really high level. So when I go to the, the, um, the next DLC, uh, Lonesome Road, is going to be a bit tough, and then some of the uh, mod quest adventures are really hard. And I do not want the uh, difficulty to be up for those. Oh, these are just jackals though, they're pansies. It's like killing regular raiders on Fallout 3. Prospectors got murdered. Murdered. I have a bunch of cards. I remember playing uh, the game you need these cards for a caravan or whatever. A bunch on Xbox just to get the achievement. I spent a lot of hours on this game on Xbox getting every last achievement. Ooh. But I. Uh, do not like it. I get to go into the casino sometime. I'm gonna do it after I turn off the uh, the fixed up strip mod and stuff, so that I can do the quest in the Ultra Lux and oh, some yeah. of the uh, finish the one the tops. And I'm gonna spend some time in the casinos, uh, checking them out, and uh, playing some doing some gambling and stuff. If you, uh, if you win enough in the casinos, you'll get kicked out. Just, I think that's one of the other achievements on Xbox, It's getting kicked out of every casino for winning too much. PPSH. Is a PPSH. Oops. What does the uh, PPSH use? I'm L. Okay. Too bad I wasted all my weapon repair kits. I'd like to use that. Got a got a lot, quite a collection of cards at this point. I don't think I have one of these either, or a tire iron. Since I'm out here just roaming, I might as well. Pick up some of the stuff to add to the collection. I'll take a knife, just in case. Gun case. 
I don't know if I have a 10 mil pistol either. Hell with it. Let's just take them all. Got quite a bit of carry space thanks to the fact that I have a backpack that adds 65. And I think I cranked it up by 50 or so at the beginning of the game. Just to save time. Alright, this place is clear. Get out of here. Where to next? Just down the way and then we'll go over to the lake. I thought I got the dry lake. We'll go up here too. Long 15 is one of those places you can't get to until, uh, way after Lonesome Road, depending on what which uh, route you take. Same with dry wells. And each of the places have some unique items. I think there's a mod that allows you to travel there regardless of what route you took. So I might get that. You could uh, console command probably travel there, but oh god. I don't know the uh, area IDs. A lovely place to dump nuclear waste. This would actually be kind of... Oh. oh great, these things. I hate centaurs. Slowest moving puke I've ever seen. Big one. Uh, I need to go get some coffee real quick, so I'll be back in a flash. All right, onwards. Out of here. This lake, there's nothing really here. It's just an old racetrack, and then there's a bunch of ants. But it's a map marker I don't have, so. Guess there is XP here. <laughs> oh, my chair is sinking. Hydraulic chair. And we've got what the fuck is that? Huh. Well PPSH. Just rowing around the lake. Spraying shit with a Glorious PPSH. I'll take that. Oh, I can repair it. I don't want to waste that shotgun, though. I would like to keep that. That's one thing I haven't really used, uh, roaming around too much, is the shotgun. Any shotgun. There's a, a special hunting shotgun, and I don't think I found it yet. It's called, uh, I can't remember if it's this game where it's called the dinner bell. I think so. Yeah, I'm, I'll find it some at some point in my roaming. I think it's in a cave somewhere. Maybe that cave by Black Mountain, actually. Maybe. <laughs> you gotta love the physics on this game sometimes. By the time I go to do Lonesome Road, I'm definitely going to be a good level to do it. When I go do that, I'm going to have to, uh... I gotta remember to bring a, uh... Anti-material rifle. It's going to come very much in handy. Hopefully, uh, oh... I have enough money, I think. M or, no, I don't. It's going to take me a while to get enough money to buy all the Gunrunner's weapons. They're expensive. But if I could get a GRA... Anti-material rifle, I could put some mods on it and stuff. I think I have just a regular one right now.
I think the last time I used it was when I went and cleared the uh, quarry. Which, there's another place I need to go back to because I haven't um, gone to that Great Con camp there. I don't know why I didn't. Now we got that Fallout 3 weather going on. If you weren't around the last episode when I turned this on, though, <clears throat> excuse me, the weather mod I'm using is called uh, just dynamic weather. And there's. <coughs> yeah, sorry. There's two different versions of it. One has New Vegas kind of presets, and one has Fallout 3 ish presets, and that's the one I'm using here. Which is why there's a weird green tinge on everything. A lot of people didn't like that on Fallout 3. I thought it like was very unique. Here? It made it uh, feel much more apocalyptic. <clears throat> Even if it was unrealistic, I thought it was a unique look. What is I would really like in the future to go back through Fallout 3. It was one of the first game series I did on my channel. And I did a, a pretty complete playthrough of it, like 60 or so episodes. Did some mods and stuff for it, mod quests and stuff. But that was a long time ago, it was my old computer. My only problem is, the version I have is on Steam, and uh, the Games for Windows Live thing doesn't work anymore. And I have some issues getting the, uh, the script extender to work correctly. Uh, just because it always... I can't figure out how to get the V-Sync off. Or on, but at 60 plus FPS. Like, it... It always wants to, every time I get the script extender working, it wants to limit my FPS to 30. And I've tried changing config files and stuff, and no, no luck. But I mean, at this point, this is October 3rd, and uh, the beta access for Fallout 76 is coming in 27 days. <clears throat> so I'm going to be playing a lot of that. Hopefully it doesn't suck. It's like one of the only games I've ever pre-ordered in my life. Here we go. So hopefully it wasn't a waste of $60. I'm cautiously optimistic. Because I even like the shitty Fallout games, like the Brotherhood of Steel one for Xbox and PS2. So, I think I'll probably enjoy it. I'm just worried about the PvP being toxic. One thing that tends to turn me off about multiplayer games is the player base. So we'll see. But hopefully, I'm going to be playing a bunch of that, so maybe it wouldn't be a good idea to start up a Fallout 3 playthrough when I haven't finished this one or even come close to 4 yet. Ooh. <laughs> but there's a really cool a conversion kind of mod for Fallout 3 that's the uh, Wanderers edition that I really want to try. It kind of turns it into hardcore mode like on here. I think it's a little more harsh though. Now it's getting dark. Uh, let's go here and just uh, sleep. I don't think I've actually slept in a little while. And then uh, head out. Go get some more locations. Or the game can turn off. Just a minute. Let's try that. Enemies. Respawn on me? What the hell is this? It's like freaking out. Okay. That again. Should 
be some beds in here I can use. Should. Let's see if she's got anything. Background? Just my luck. What'll it be this time? Take a look. Got any... Got some GRA stuff. Not what I'm after, though. I'm after... Take that. That. Oops. Didn't, whatever. Oh, here we go. There's a way to wake up. Alright, let's go to, um... I don't know if I want to go into Dead Wooden Cavern without a better gun. It doesn't sound like a... Oh, I haven't been to the Brock Flower Cave yet, so I haven't got the, the Rat Slayer. Let's go over there. Straight east from the Legion Ray Camp. There's a unique varmint rifle in there. It's pretty cool. I, I thought I'd already been in there. I guess not. And also, um, when you're doing some of the missions in like Freeside, uh, the one uh, caravan chick that wants you to go recover her caravan stuff, if you go that route, is uh, her. Uh, the remains of her caravan are down there. <clears throat> I'm gonna pick up a machete earlier. Up. Machete. <laughs> Lazy bastards. For a 9mm pistol, this thing is pretty good. Not so much against a veteran. Oh, crit. Get going. I think it's up on this mound, yeah. As advertised, there's lots of Brock flowers here. I think it's around the other side. Or is it over here? Well, it should be a little path going up. There we go. Don't really remember what kind of enemies are in here. I also don't remember exactly where this rifle is. I know it's up on a ledge or something like that, or in a little cubby hole kind of hideout area. Yep, there's her. There's her caravan. I already sent her packing though. How it ever gotten here, then died, is beyond me. Oh, of course it's rats. What was I thinking? 
Of course, that's where you find the rat slayer. I think I went the right direction. Big ass rat, holy crap. <laughs> oh, you gotta love Fallout. Shit. It's actually turning into a thing. Or not. Feel my leg. Trying to... I think I've got a stash of doctor's bags. When I go to do Beyond Boulder Dome in Boulder City, the mod, quest mod later, I'm gonna need all the doctor's bags I can get. Just as a warning, my there it is. A rat slayer. Show it to you in a second. In fact, I'll use it for a little while, why not? Can't remember, I think you can put like a night optic on this thing. Is what I used to do. It's a little beat up, isn't it? Too bad. In fact, I thought it came with a... I thought it came all kitted out. I guess it didn't know. It's just a black varmint rifle, basically. Here we go. Oh my god. Fucking bats. I'll go uh, hit up a merchant. See if I can get a few mods for this sucker. find our way out of here. Could have gone back the way I came in, but there's another way out. Jeez. Or... Yeah, over here. Hello. That's the way. All right, I'm gonna travel over to the I eighty eight. And talk to the merch there. I'm pretty sure it just takes regular varmint rifle parts. I mean, yeah, it obviously does, but... Still making a nuisance of yourself? Of course. Take a look. He's got some stuff. I really like the assault carbines too, because they're just like uh, classic M4s. Just looking. Tomahawk. You can kill anything with a tomahawk. No varmint rifle parts. What a surprise. Buy five surplus. Buy a few surplus boxes. Whoa. Just just two. 
Yeah, I need some material parts. Some more uh, 45 ammo. Because I don't have much of that. Do you have the GRA? You don't have it. The anti-material rifle, okay. Another satisfied cut. Alright, let's go up to Gunrunners proper then. See if they have anything for this. Welcome, sir or madam. Mm hmm. Just curious. Ooh, I could actually buy it. Oh, let's buy it. Why not? Did I have anything on me I was going to sell? Sell some drugs. Who doesn't like drugs? Not really saving me much money now, is it? Oh well, that's something. This guy's got everything. Some of these gunrunners weapons are really expensive. That, I mean, holy shit. I remember grinding out, just farming lots of money on Xbox to get that stuff. Okay. Custom bolt. I don't have enough cash on me for that. I have some stuff I can go grab and sell for cash. I'm after environment rifle parts, though. Ooh. There's so much stuff. Yeah, there is a gold plate finish. That's what's on this thing. Night scope? Sure. I guess that's it. Whatever. Rip all my money. Almost. Come back. So I'm gonna need like seven grand or so to get the mods for the uh, anti-material rifle. There we go. This is what I remember it looking like. I wonder if that... It looks normal in daytime, which is good, but at night you can see better, which is sweet. But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll call it here. And uh, next time... I'm pretty sure I'm going to go around and look for some more stuff. Uh, unless I can think of something else specific that I want to go do. But I'm just going to go dump all my gear and sort some stuff out for next time. So I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.